Cohen Speaks. Good morning. I'm Nick Bovey, WRKO News. Michael Cohen is now speaking to the House Oversight Committee after some opening fireworks. Republican Congressman Mark Meadows of North Carolina and Jim Jordan of Ohio tried to derail the testimony by invoking a committee rule that written testimony must be submitted 24 hours in advance. The gentleman, the gentleman yielded back. That's how you're going to operate? First, you don't follow the rules. And now you're going to say, so you don't get, you get to, you get to, you get to, you get to deviate from the rules. Regular order. After a vote to continue the proceedings, committee chairman Elijah Cummings laid out why they must hold today's hearing. This new evidence raises a host of troubling legal and ethical concerns about the president's actions in the White House and before. Finally, it was time for Cohen himself to speak. I am ashamed that I chose to take part in concealing Mr. Trump's illicit acts rather than listening to my own conscience. I am ashamed because I know what Mr. Trump is. He is a racist, he is a con man, and he is a cheat. Cohen will continue to address the Oversight Committee today, where he's expected to reveal Trump made racist comments in the White House and coordinated with Roger Stone to release negative news stories about Hillary Clinton through WikiLeaks. He's also facing questions about his integrity after admitting to lying to Congress before. Time for the WRKO forecast with Mike Ellis. Well, this afternoon, a lot of clouds and limited sunshine. Cold with high temperatures around 28. A winter weather advisory in effect 7 tonight until 7 tomorrow morning. Snow is likely tonight with a low of 24. Snow will accumulate 1 to 3 inches. And for tomorrow, some leftover morning snow showers. Then mostly cloudy skies in the afternoon with a high near 31. It's 17 degrees in Boston. I'm Nick Bovey. WRKO News. Jackie Murphy has a look at how the roads are doing.